how to join the VC uh, venture capital, like the Google venture or right, Deloitte right. venture. So uh, is there like a school for VCs or are you thinking of starting something with your edtech uh, initiative? You know, like in India, even the street, uh, the street vendor is an entrepreneur. You know, th with that <laughs> kind right. of reach, they're very entrepreneurial. It's a very good point. Yeah, so are you doing something like that? Because uh, with our book, we... To so teach a VC. To teach how, to, how be to be a VC. That is one. Second thing, they, to bring a, give some light to these street vendors, you know, what they can do instead of getting beat up by Amazon, what can they do to scale in their own ecosystem. So the reason I said was there was one conference for teaching entrepreneurship skills to middle school uh, and primary school, in which they were conducting, Z Network was conducting in Bombay, for which I was going to uh, work with my co-author for building templates for kids. So I'm like, why are you teaching kids? They're like, kids are very entrepreneurial. Mm. They need to understand. So I'm like, are you doing something or is it too radical? You know, don't want to think about it. Or? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's very far-fetched. And I think this VC concept can be taught. The first, the first taught. concept, first can concept, taught. yeah. Yeah, the first concepts can be taught. Yeah. Because there is a lot of process in the VC, uh, you know, in the VC field, yeah. uh, the structure can be taught. Yeah. But eventually, the the decision making in investing, yeah. right, that is not a one hundred percent structure. Yeah, your your panel in uh, in a, 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 a India conference, Berkeley India conference, they were saying this is like uh, no one has the answer to this. This panel is going to be a failure. Exactly. How do you know whether this company is going to be unicorn? You Nobody don't know. knows. You don't know. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to bet on. This entrepreneur, you have to bet on uh, the team, the team, and, and uh, the bet on the idea, and and you as a venture capitalist, you have to feel, hey, I'm going to help this company, right? I I have um, enough skills to help this company to move from point A to point B to point C, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And we have to do everything right, and we don't know the entire dynamics of who else is actually creating a similar product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like you will have no idea at the yeah. time when you are making the investment, yeah, yeah. right? You, you just don't know who yeah. else is actually solving. So the only way you win is if there are multiple ideas and multiple teams working on similar kind of problems that yeah. they're solving, the only way to win is through execution excellence. Yeah, that's what you said is patentable. You know, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> one, clo uh, one closing thought I want to share. In, uh, working for a company in Lithuania, they bought some templates from our book. Uh, the reason they bought it was they want to create a society 5.0, an ideal society where uh, resource allocation is not a problem. They, they're a small population, very homogenous, and they want to be like Estonia, you know, AI first and digitally mapped and everything. Uh, so they want templates uh, from us to connect innovators. So we went went through this, uh, you know, arduous grill. We, we still failed. Uh, how do you connect innovators? Based, it's like uh, we are building something like a dating app, but you know, uh, can you really connect innovators using traits based on an online profiles like dating people use? Because you just now said that if many people are working on the same problem, uh, why don't you talk to them or work with them or know what they're doing? The only way to do it is have a platform where similar ideas or like founder dating. Uh, can be done. Uh, so, is it possible? Like, do you think it uh, uh, from will will grow will grow investors from India? No, I think they said it's. I think it's the, a the challenge, idea. you know, in this, I've seen, by the way, even in non-profit organizations yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, so, people who are trying to build, whether uh, uh, my own company or even a non-profit organization, mm -hmm. I, I've actually tried to combine some of these you have. Yeah, guys together. And it has worked a couple of times, but most of the times it won't work. Because, won't work. because I think people believe that they have something unique that others don't have. That's mm. number one. And number two is they think that they, by, with them controlling mm -hmm. right, the execution aspect of it, mm. they have a better chance to succeed versus mm. partnering with someone else. Mm. Mm -hmm. And not knowing the uh, the execution skills of the other person, yeah. because you know, I mean, building a company, mm. only ten percent is an idea. Mm. Ten percent is idea. That's it. Ninety percent is every. Wow. Execution. Okay. Yeah. Ninety percent is execution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, 
it's uh, it's uh, if someone has a better skills on the execution yeah, yeah. building the team like search uh, google did it better than yeah, exactly yeah exactly yeah. and yeah. then uh, uh, building the team managing the team and and uh, you know how you delegate responsibilities exactly. mm -hmm. right because if you are if you very micromanaging kind of thing yeah, yeah. it's very hard to um, translate that into a successful company although there are instances yeah there are instances of certain leaders like steve jobs uh, oh, has, <laughs> has disproved everybody yeah, else yeah, yeah. right and there are a couple other companies that have done but most companies right the that have really gone big and they have really become successful and well respected in the market yeah, like g for microsoft are they the ones who, on have, on. who yeah. have delegated who have figured out delegated. how to delegate so we and then build more number of leaders yeah build more number that's a tricky one okay so we have leadership and um, <coughs> personality matching that's as far as we go but uh, we're still skeptical because that's a different country different culture leadership skill matching like who's submissive who's who's uh, they call it the red personality blue green yellow personality correct so it's from the school of entrepreneurship correct so um, uh, it seems it can be gamified so this is all the the ai guys the inspired by rework the lot of whole scores of startups supposed to be very hot uh, this uh, co-working environment correct. this is a co-working environment correct. what correct. if you match the personalities of the startups and the people who come here and yeah. like uh, so th that's what we're getting it so okay no uh, we i mean as i said right we have we have actually tried especially uh, in situations where a founder requires a co-founder yeah right those are the times where they both agree mm. that this is a good match mm. and this is uh, this is uh, a good way to come together rather than each of us trying to build the same thing mm. and compete in the market mm. so they both have to come together in fact when when i decided to start and when i found my partner mm. uh, before we engaged in in uh, you know really like forming a company mm. we sat down for almost 6 months mm. i mean both of us had different jobs mm. and we sat down for almost 6 months and whiteboarded mm. many aspect of the values mm. that we wanted to do oh, how nice corporate right most people company. most people don't do that no. it's a it's a management technique you make people write down a right. list of values yeah. and see who scored high on what yeah. i mean we were oh, wow. we were very clear both of us right we made, so made you, sure do you teach this to the children i mean the kids who come to you <laughs> yeah my it class seems, it seems yeah it seems like a good thing to do yeah i mean these are some of the things that i talk about but how many absorb that and then how do like in my case right i learned a lot of these things because i used to work for this company called uh, 3com Recon. and the leadership there was absolutely incredible mm -hmm. and in fact i meet the ceo quite often these days mm -hmm. and every time i meet him i i, I try to tell him mm -hmm. that how much actually i learned the leadership skills mm -hmm. the communication skills mm -hmm. how to communicate with employees you know mm -hmm. a lot of these things and these were all very important things, things that we spelled out yeah day one mm -hmm. right when we started our company hey every employee is going to have shares mm -hmm. right wow. every employee is going to be a part owner of the company mm. every uh, uh, every employee uh, is entitled to get the corporate information mm.